Hello there, my name is Sally Cathcart from The Curious Piano Teachers and welcome to the fourth video in our Sparkle series. Sparkle standing for S for Sing, P for Patterns, A for Automatic, R for Rote, K for Knowledge, L for Landmark and E for Enjoy. And today we're going to look at R for Rote. And uh, in this video we're going to cover the advantages of teaching some pieces by rote, the danger points to look out for, and as you might have guessed because I've now moved to the piano, how to teach a piece by rote. And by the end of this video hopefully you'll feel more informed and confident about going ahead and teaching some pieces by rote. So let's start by looking at some of the advantages of teaching by rote. Well, I think pupils come along to play the piano. When they start lessons, that's what they want to do. They want to be pianists. And playing pieces by rote allows them to experience some of the magic that you and I do as more experienced pieces. And this was really highlighted for me recently by a mum who was telling me about her seven-year-old daughter and her husband, who also plays the piano. And she came down one day and found them sitting together and playing I Love Coffee from Piano Safari. And that for her, seeing the two of them, the joy that they were experiencing together, was one of the highlights so far of being a mum, which I thought was just delightful. So in addition, playing by rote allows the full keyboard to be explored rather than just a middle position. And in turn, and with us to guide pupils, this encourages a healthy posture and easy use of the piano. And you'll see that in the piece I'm going to share with you. And we know that research suggests that when playing music is developed alongside reading music as parallel paths, parallel paths, this then leads easily to playing from written music when the time is right. Ultimately, and maybe conversely for some people, but ultimately playing by rote helps pupils to become better readers if you manage the situation correctly. Next, let's look at some of the danger points from teaching pupils by rote. Now, I took on a young transfer student last year, and although he had taken and passed his grade one, which is sort of late elementary, he could hardly read a thing. And he had managed to learn all his pieces by listening and copying his previous teacher. Clearly, though, in this sort of situation, he really wasn't well set up for moving forward in his pianistic development. And without a careful and mindful teacher, many students only ever learn to play by rote, you know. Um, and this kind of works. They sort of get away with it, don't they, for the first few years. But as soon as the level of complexity within each hand in particular increases in the more they need to do the coordination, and that happens at the late elementary, early intermediate level, grade three-ish, let's say, in this country, then all this imitation, all this playing by rote falls down. And it's this kind of situation that leads to the student giving up. So there are dangers there for the inexperienced teacher, someone who is learning the ropes of teaching. And really, these are quite significant because if you don't spot the fact that the pupil is not reading the music, is just learning to play by rote, by very, very quick copying of you, then you're going to have problems later down the line. And if you're not sure whether you're getting the right balance of reading and uh, rote, then I suggest you go away and you do a bit of research for yourself. For example, you might want to have a look at the mini essay on playing by rote by Dr. Julie Nur on the Piano Safari website. Or you might find a more experienced teacher who can actually mentor you through the whole process of teaching by rote and reading as parallel paths and then bringing them together. So, as we're at the piano, finally, I want to look at how to teach a piece by rote. Um, first thing you have to do is find a highly patterned piece of music, and not every piece is suitable. So you might want to have a look at the music of Wendy Stevens, for example, Anne Crosby Gaudet, or June Armstrong. And June is the composer that I'm going to be using to demonstrate. And this is a piece from her series called Toy Box. And... Um, you can 
buy this online from June or you can download it as a PDF. The first thing you need to do, well, the piece is called Building Blocks, and um, the first thing you need to do is to really know the whole piece and to find out why and how it works as a rope piece. So, for example, this particular piece explores the whole piano. And you can see, if I just show you a quick glance of it, um, this is not a piece you're going to show to your pupils necessarily. You might do after they've learnt it, but not before it. So you need to know the piece. And you might need to think about what it is um, that makes it work. Well, let me just play it through to you and then we can hear. So simple, yet so effective. So the piece explores the whole keyboard. It gets them moving around. It gets them using their fingers, different fingers, different intervals going on there. We're using the pedal. You get the piano the, doing that beautiful shimmering singing sound that they do. Um, so it's, it's a very simple piece and yet highly effective. So I would play it first of all, just like I did to you then, I'd play it all the way through. And then I would play the first pattern, uh, which is this one. And I would freeze there. And I'd ask the pupil to spot where the two thumbs are. And this can either be done by them telling me the names of the notes or if it's even before they've done the white notes then I would give them a little sticky which is what I'm going to do here now and I'd ask them to choose a colour and they're going to put the green sticky I'm going to put the green sticky on the G and the yellow sticky just there on the A and there we go and then I'm going to go back to the beginning and I'm going to play the first two chords and I'm going to ask them to do the same thing again on the same notes so you've got the left hand thumb on G so I'm going to put another green one and the right hand thumb is on the A so I'm going to put a yellow one and then you might say to your pupils what do you notice what do you notice about those two notes and those two notes and you're helping them to see that they are the same note that they're in the same place and they both have a thumb on and immediately you can see that's helping them to sort of find their keyboard geography find their way around um, once that's happened, you can introduce the other notes and say, OK, I wonder what finger I play here. So again, all the time you're, you're helping them to get to grips with their knowledge. Five and one. And then the right hand plays one and four. And then the left hand plays one and three. And then the right hand plays one and two. So it's one and five, one and four, one and three one and two <clears throat> and what I might do at that point is actually put the lid, lid down so then we can focus completely on the fingers one and five one and four one and three and one and two so it's interesting how just closing up the keyboard again it just gives them one thing to think about in that case the fingering open up the keyboard get the pupil to come and you might demonstrate it one more time lots and lots of demonstration needed demonstrate it one more time Then swap places with the pupil and help the pupil to work out that first bit. On the whole, they don't find that too um, too confusing by then. And that might be just their practice for the week, just to do that. And it's called building blocks, and I think it says steadily and carefully, so they can take lots of time about it. Play nice and firmly, getting a lovely sense of movement across the piano. Depending on the pupil, they might go on and do the rest of the piece like that. So, 
that's just to give you a brief overview of how to start teaching a piece by rote. Really, it starts with you knowing the piece really quite well. So to wrap up today, uh, we've looked at the advantages of teaching some pieces by rote, um, the danger points that you need to look out for, and I've shown you just one way to start to teach a piece by rote. So now hopefully you'll feel more informed and confident about teaching in this particular way and understand some of the danger points that you've got to look out for. We've created a workbook to help you get really clear about all the different principles in our Sparkle series. And join me in the next video where I will be discussing K for knowledge. I'm Sally Cathcart from The Curious Piano Teachers. Thank you so much for watching. Happy teaching.